The elite of African women's cycling descended on the small town of Wartburg, just outside Peter Maritzburg, for the African Continental Championships road race. 14 African countries went to the start line, including riders from Ethiopia, Tunisia and Eritrea. And each cyclist had a different goal in mind. Today I want to win this race to be the lady African Botswana, so just hope to do my best. This is my first road race, surprisingly, but yeah, I've only got two months, three months cycling, so this is all new to me and it's scary. The hot favourite for the race, South Africa's Ashley Moorman Passio. The defending African champion and Commonwealth Games bronze medalist was looking to make it a double after winning the time trial earlier in the week. Ahead of them, 104 kilometres. One lap in, Ethiopia's Hadne Kidani and Lisa Olafia of South Africa pulled away from the pack. But shortly after, Moorman Passio broke away from the peloton to join the front two. The South Africa duo worked hard to drop Kidani. With 10 kilometers to go, it was clear that this was a race between the two South Africans. And it was Moorman Passio who took gold. Yeah, it's been a great two weeks of racing in South Africa, um, you know, just before I head over to Europe. So great to get the confidence up and to defend my titles and to go over to Europe. But today was a great day for South Africa. We um, really raced very well as a team. So great to take gold and silver for South Africa. So as expected, another golden day for South Africa. But that tells just half of the story, as these championships have once again underlined that women's cycling on the continent is very much on an upward curve. There's a very, very, very big improvement that I can see. It's my third continental time. It's the th first time we were, I think, nine or 11 riders. The second time 24, and today already 28. The standard is picking up every time. Today was so tough. Um, you can't compare that to anything from the last cu uh, two current years. No, it's on the right way. It'll still need a little bit of time, but it's definitely on the right way. Mormon Passio was one of the few full-time professionals in the field but she too was impressed at the improvement in competition. There really is some passion and energy behind the woman now. Um, so I'm sure that the momentum is going to continue and I'm sure that we're only going to go from strength to strength. So yeah, things are going to start becoming harder and harder for South Africa, I think, but that's a good thing. It's great to have some good competition and yeah, wonderful to see the number of girls here and, and the level of the, this women cycling that's really, really improving. Elite women's cycling in Africa still has a long road to travel in comparison to European competition. But it would appear, on this evidence at least, that the sport is heading in the right direction. Dan Williams, CCTV, Wartburg, South Africa.